the Smooth Cut Transition. They've been in DaVinci Resolve since about version 15, so they've been there for a while. DaVinci Resolve Studio 20, paid version only, this is a paid only feature, has improved these smooth cut transitions by adding the ability to use speed warps. Now this allows you to do a really cool techie merge effect thing like this. And you can use them for that actual purpose of hiding cuts within talking head videos, just like I did in this very intro. There's a bunch of cuts. Leave me some timestamps if you spot them all down in the comments below. If you want the quick version, all you need to do is open up the effects library on the edit page, go to transitions, find your smooth cut, slap it on an edit point, open the inspector, make sure speed warp is enabled and you're good to go. But for those that want a bit more of an in-depth guide, plus some handy tips and tricks, let's open Resolve and we'll take a look. We'll start off with the basics of hiding cuts and then we'll jump into doing something a bit more fun. So here we are on the edit page and I've got this simple clip. So it's just me talking and we've cut it up. But obviously, it's very obvious. There's those jumps where we cut things out and we just want to smooth that using these smooth cuts. So to access them, dead easy. Open up the effects library, top left hand corner, then go to the video transitions and it's right at the top, smooth cut. Give that a click, drag it onto your edit point like so, and then let's just see how this looks. If we hit play, it's actually not doing too bad of a job. If we zoom in, we can kind of see what's going on. We can see this merge happening. If we give the transition a click, open up the inspector, we have all of our controls. Now this is the new thing, this speed warp. This will only be there if you're on the studio version, otherwise it'll look a little bit like that instead. The speed warp is really, really cool. It is heavy, it will kind of slow things down, but it's super neat and that's what's kind of filling in the frames and generating these sort of in-between bits for us. Now there are a couple of modes, you can change it from better or faster. So if it is going a bit slow, change it to faster and see how that goes. That's doing something very weird for me. So I'm going to put it back to better because that seems to be doing a good job. There is also easing. So by none, it just means it's kind of casually ramping through this transition, but you can change this to in and out. There is also a way to do custom curves, which we'll come back to in a moment. And that's gonna look pretty cool. Now, what I recommend you do is really make this nice and short. It works much better if it's shorter, so there's less of this transitional period. And if you can't find a particularly good edit, what I like to do is if you hold Alt or Option, click on your edit point, and then we can just move it either to the left or the right. So we can make essentially like a little J cut or an L cut, and you can just find the place where that transition is the smoothest. So if we move this over, have a little look, the eyes do something a bit weird, let's try the other way. Again, the eyes do something a bit weird, let's go a bit further. Just sort of tinker with it until you find something that looks pretty good. Once you've done your, your one smooth cut and you're happy with it, you can copy it, so you can give it a click so it's highlighted red, like so. Hit a quick copy, Control and C. Click on your next edit point and Control V to paste. Or alternatively, an easier way, give it a click, hold the Alt or Option key, click and drag onto the next edit point, and now you've got a smooth cut over here as well. That one's worked really well straight out the gate. No real changes on that one. And that one's pretty cool too. Maybe we make this even smaller and just tinker with them like so. If you want to save these, what you can do is right click on any of the smooth cuts on the timeline. There is an option to create a transition preset. I'm just gonna call this one talking head smooth cut, click on okay. And now whenever I open up my effects library, go to video transitions, scroll down, there's a user area, talking head smooth cut. I can just drag that on there, hit play, see how it works, mess around with it, change the length, do anything we need to do to get it looking as good as it can be. Right, next, before we move on, I want to give you a real world example to show you how I've been using this myself. So I've got this one take, but now they're just a lot better thanks to the introduction of these speed warps or the speed warp functionality or whatever you want to call it. But I don't like that little tangent that I go on. So here's the second take. With the introduction of the speed warp mode, which uses the speed warp ability within the Resolve. 
and that's much nicer. So what I've been doing is looking for common words, which you generally will pronounce the same, and then you can do the blend there. So in this example, a lot better thanks to the introduction of we're going to use introduction because I say it in a introduction of the intro similar enough way. So that's where I start saying introduction. I'll grab my second one. With the intro, the I'm marking markers using the M key. We'll try and roughly line these up and then have a listen. Thanks With to the, the introduction, introduction of introduction's pretty close. And one good way of doing this is actually mid word. So I'm going to go right in the middle of the word introduction. I'll bring this down. And now we've got this. So the introduction of the now all I'll do is hold alt again and I can just move this so we have thanks to the introduction of try this a bit further over introduction of these thanks to the introduction of and we've just landed on that so now this sounds like introduction is being said in one take pretty good but we have our jump cut so again what I'll do is just move this around even without the smooth cut to try and find the point where I'm really close to looking the same or you know my eyes are both open my hands aren't doing anything weird we're trying to line this up as best we can that's not bad the face is very similar the mouth very similar there's nothing too obscure about that then we'll grab my little preset pop that on there give it a little bit of a shorten playing through looks okay and then we'll hit play thanks to the introduction of the speed warp mode which uses the Speed warp ability. And there you go. Smooth cut in a nutshell. Now I actually made a short form sort of portrait -y video to go along with this video. And I'm only mentioning it because it cut together incredibly well. Obviously I kind of filmed it with this in mind. So maybe it's a little bit cheaty. The smooth cut can't perform miracles if your arms and stuff are all over the place and whatnot. But when you just have like a talking head and you're just trying to get rid of the mistakes and stuff, it does work incredibly well. So there you go, there's your speed warp smooth cuts to get rid of mistakes. Next up, we're gonna take a look at how I created that little intro sequence when we're merging all of the different things on my desk. It's pretty much the same, but we use some additional transitions, we layer them on top of each other, and we're gonna add a custom curve. But before we do, all of the text, all of the transitions and stuff you've seen in this video are available for free from this video's sponsor, Motion VFX. So if you didn't already know, Motion VFX have got a massive range of presets and plugins for DaVinci Resolve. And they're currently running that oldie but goldie challenge where you can turn your old shots into cinematic gold and win up to $5,000. All you've got to do is download the oldie but goldie pack, which is available completely free of charge for DaVinci Resolve, and then turn your old shots into something new, creating an edit that's no longer than 60 seconds. Share your work on social media and tag Motion VFX, and then simply fill out the submission form, which I've linked down below. But be quick, because you have only got until June the 8th. But if that's not your thing, they've got plugins for every occasion, like the M Review Pack, which has got 80 plus engaging presets for reviews, tutorials, and educational videos, or M Style Cinematic, which comes with a bunch of different cinematic overlay effects, typography, and transitions. So grab your freebie, enter the competition, and maybe have a look at some of the other plugins which are available for DaVinci Resolve by clicking on the Motion VFX link down in the description below. Right, let's open DaVinci Resolve and get back to it. So we're back on the edit page, and all I've done here is cut this up. So all I was doing was moving the things out of the way, literally just move the laptop and replace it with the Mini or with the Surface Pro or whatever. I was literally just changing the objects. Camera's on a tripod so it's nice and steady and that's all it is. So we've cut out all the bits of me and we've just got the products like so. We are using an adjustment clip as well but that's just to change some positioning and do some funky stuff with it. So now what we need to do is apply a smooth cut. So once again, we'll go to effects, we'll go video transitions, we'll grab the smooth cut from the very top and we'll put that on there like so. If we hit play, we'll see how it looks. Not bad, that's kind of working. It's doing what we need it to do, but it's linear at the moment. There's no acceleration, so we can make that look better with some easing. You know what I say, if in doubt, in and out. And that looks a little bit better. And again, you could then start to copy this across to all the other edit points. But for this one, I like to make the ramp, the easing, much more aggressive, because I think it just looks nicer. So to do that, change the ease to custom, and then open up the new keyframe editor, top left, 
And yours will probably look something like this. So you'll see the keyframes here. Click on this one in the top left-hand corner to open up the keyframe curves. Yours again may be blank. So what you'll need to do is click on parameters, video, and you'll see this transition curve. If you give that a tick, you'll actually get the curve of that transition. And then what we can do is click on our keyframes at the start and the end and actually make this curve more aggressive. So if I click on this first one here, I get this little handle and I can move this around and this is changing the, the animation curve for this transition. I'm gonna keep it dead simple. So I'll give that one a click. And then if you hold the shift key, grab your handle, you can drag this in and by holding shift, you can't actually get it wrong. You can't move it other than affecting the curve. So you can't actually kind of drag it up or down. You can only do left and right. So we're gonna drag this right the way across. We'll go to the top one, drag this right the way across. Again, play with this, tinker with it, see what you can get. And then if we hit play, we've got a much nicer, much more aggressive curve. So it starts slow, you can see it's doing something, and then the merge happens in the middle, and it just gives it a nicer effect. I want to save this, so once again, we're gonna right click on our smooth cut, we're gonna create a transition preset, and I'll call this one Fast Tech Cut, oh, I don't know, something like that, and click on OK. And then again, we can hold our Alt or Option key, start dragging this across our other edit points, to see how these look. Easy as pie. Now there is something else you can do to make this super fancy if you want to, and that's to apply some additional transitions. So the easiest way to do this, put your playhead on the actual edit point, like so. Make sure nothing is selected on the timeline, then hit M on your keyboard to add a marker. And we'll do that for all of these edit points. Then if we select uh, kind of edit all of our clips on the timeline, right click, and then we're going to create a new compound clip. We'll call this one, I don't know, something like that. Edit and create. Then if we go to all of our markers, and we're just going to do a control and B to do cuts, to add those cuts back in. So now we've got edit points there once again. We can go to the effects library, go to transitions, and then double up. So we could add another smooth cut to make a smooth cut on top of a smooth cut, or some really cool ones like we could put a camera shake on this one. So it's doing the camera shake and it's doing that smooth cut. So we could mess with this, make that a bit shorter. It's a bit aggressive at the moment, so maybe we'd take the shake down and maybe mess around with a bunch of these settings and just tinker them a tiny bit so there's just a little bit and that looks pretty cool. Or we could maybe try the brightness flash. So we get a kind of a flash effect and it merges. Again, maybe it's a little bit bright, it kind of takes away from the effect but you get the idea. One other thing you might want to do, I've got an adjustment clip over the top here. If I go to the effects library once again, go to open effects, and we're just gonna find the camera shake. We'll put camera shake on there. Again, we'll need to change the controls within the inspector, bring all of these down a bit, and hit play. And now we've got camera shake going over the entire clip and it just makes it feel a bit more natural. It ties everything together. And there you go, the new smooth cut transition with speed warps within DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.